patience. It also is your ability to deal with people's misfortunes. Sometimes we have friends who are always going through stuff, but your patience in being a friend to them is to realize that once they get that out of their system, it may take 5, 10, 15 minutes, then you can get to the higher level stuff, right? The fun stuff, being friends, right? But if one is real, how was your day? Oh my God. Right? How you doing? Well, you know, right? And you know that this is your patience, it's your ability to know that the first five or seven minutes of that interaction is going to be there, but you know that there's going to be a brighter time. So Paul teaches the folks here that living right is a day by day decision. Then he says that living in community is dependent on two things. One, our desire to forgive, and then two, our ability to forgive. And I like the fact that, that this is separate, our desire to forgive and our ability to forgive. When you come together in the community, if you build a community, there are going to be some failed expectations. There are going to be some things that you really, really wanted to have. And they didn't have. And then there's going to be some hurt emotions. Because it may appear or seem that somebody else is getting all the attention. And you really need to have some attention. And you're not as boisterous or you're not as, you know, a, 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 a hourly type person. So you're just waiting for someone to come to you and say, how can I help you? And we can
they got it. The God allows things to just be washed out and reconciled. You can hold on to it for a decade or two. Are, are, are you sad? So, so when we think about the importance of forgiveness, then the third thing that Paul says is that love binds everything in perfect harmony. Perfect harmony is balance. It's balance. It's, 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 it's where, where there is equity as opposed to conflict. Balance is where there is no discord or no disease. I like to say no toxicity. You know, people come and bring their toxicity and they just, you know, it, 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 it's, it's almost like somebody coming and walking up on you and just sneezing on you. And that's how, that's how we do each other sometimes, right? You having a bad day, I'm just going to sneeze my bad day all over you. Right? Don't even say excuse me, I'm sorry, I try to wipe you down or like that. I'm just going to sneeze my bad day all over you. Right? And we spread bad days like that germs and viruses, right, and diseases, right? So balance is the realization that at the moment we realize that things aren't going right, I need to check myself. I need to take time out, you know, go do a time out in the corner, right? I need to remove myself and go step into the corner, work things out, right? Spend some time in prayer and meditation, do whatever you need to do to reconcile it so you can get back to making your choice of how that day is going to be for you, right? And then you step back into the game. I want to close. There was an old song, it's not that, uh, Grandma's Hand by Bill Withers. And I, I used to listen to the song. And it really didn't mean anything to me. I liked the melody.
you know, what hangups you have or what nuances you have. We have patience for that. It don't matter how bad your life is doing, we have compassion for that. It, it doesn't matter how, how, how educated or how non-educated you are, right? We have humility for that, right? It, it doesn't matter how timid or, or how aggressive you are, we have meekness and gentleness for that. I, that's what I love about that. And, 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 and grandma's hands epitomize all of that. To be able to be heavy-handed when necessary, and then to have a gentle touch when necessary. To be able to get up in the kitchen and cook a phenomenal meal, but then go out in the garden and just deal with those flowers and the vegetables and just, right? To, to deal with the teenage grandson, right? But then to grab the infant granddaughter. I mean, grandma's hands. Try and true. Worn and chill. That's what the next level community has to be. That's where we need to go. We need to be able to get through everything. Not only individually, not only with families, but as a fellowship. Next level community. I pray that not another situation that occurs more than ever. I pray that nobody will ever wake up in the morning to hear the news that a loved one is gone. I pray that, that, that each of us will realize the beauty of life. No matter how hard or frustrating it is. I pray that we will make decisions that will allow our young people to have better experiences and better life than me. I pray that as our young people grow up that they would be inspired by the selfless decisions that we've made. Be inspired by all the challenges and the risks that we've taken so that they have a strong platform, a strong foundation, a sturdy foundation. I pray for those who make mistakes that they be given some kind of opportunity to make it right. I pray for folks who unknown in their selfish moment when they hurt others will have some kind of reconciliation inside to ask God for forgiveness and then ask folks from that community. 